Richard Southern joins us once again to chat about some of the day's more interesting stories. Now, Richard, many people are hesitant to get back on an airplane right now, and this first video certainly won't help. <laughs> it's not going to help at all. It's a what would you do situation, Erica. Oh. I'm going to show you this clip. This is in the States the other day. Guy's flying on an airplane. A bare foot comes from behind him on his armrest. And look at how he handled it. This is winning praise for people online. Take a look. Here he is now flying along, minding his own business when, oh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> now here's what he does. And this is actually maybe a smart idea. Gets out his water bottle. Says, you know what? You're going to put my foot there? <laughs> there you go. That got rid of it. <laughs> but I, I would also praise. sanitize that spot right after. Yeah. <laughs> Get out the wipes for what sure. kind of uh, bacteria is on there. Oh, that's so gross. Oh, it's not. Remember a couple of years ago, who does that yeah. is, is right. I mean, especially nowadays. We had the video a couple of years ago of the woman changing the screen with her foot, her bare foot. Yes, on I the remember airplane. that one. Yeah. The grossest of all may have been there's the video where uh, a, so a woman was drying her, her underwear in the overhead air vent. Kid you not, Erica. I just, yeah, that's the one thing about flying in, like, by <laughs> flying that I don't like, right? And now I actually sanitize everything ever since I saw that foot video. I was like, no, I'm not doing it. Gross. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> One Toronto tourist attraction is getting creative in an attempt to lure back visitors this summer. Pretty neat. Casaloma is planning a big outdoor interactive light show. It's going to be on the grounds surrounding the castle here in Midtown Toronto. And this is the video that they put out promoting this. It's called Imagine Dragons Light Forest. So it's going to... Uh, feature lights and lasers and costumed characters, including knights in shining armor, fair maidens and fairies. And you're going to travel along a, a two kilometer path and the story's kind of going to unfold around you as you meander through Casaloma's gardens and tunnels. This starts July 21st. Tickets start at 35 bucks. I've never been in. Have you ever been in Casaloma? I've never been in. Never been inside? Yeah. No, I've been, never been inside. Oh, wow. I've been plenty of times. Yeah, even uh, at school, like we used to go and visit and learn a little bit about the history. Yeah. I got to check it out because a beautiful outside, one of the great spots in the city. I got to go check yeah, that out. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, finally, an international dispute about champagne is really starting to bubble over, Richard. Oh, I like my bubbly. You like your bubbly I too, right, Erica? I do love my bubbly, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> is, it, is it mimosa o'clock yet, Erica? <laughs> Isn't it uh, always well, in the summertime? Yeah. You know it. It is indeed. Uh, France's champagne industry up in arms after Russia put in place a new law that forced champagne producers from the champagne region in france to label their bubbly as sparkling wine oh, oh my goodness now, that is not you know it right yeah. you're only supposed to be called a champagne if it's from the champagne region right right everything else is sparkling wine but russia says no anything coming from france is going to be called sparkling wine however russian made bubbly can be called champagne yeska the Russian word for champagne. So they can call it champagne. Nobody mm. else can. Uh, the producers in France so upset, they say they're going to stop shipments to France. I, uh, I'm still drinking Spermanti Bambino. I don't have the <laughs> champagne money, Erica. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Champ I got the champagne taste, but not the dollars, you know? Remind me if we're <laughs> celebrating something, not to uh, ask you to buy the uh, sparkling. Okay. I'll get the sweet Spermanti. Thank It'll you. be delicious. <laughs> okay, thanks, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.